Road to Miami, sponsored by Jim Hudson Automotive Group. Just like the holiday season, bowl season is a magical time of year when our favorite college football stars suit up for their soon-to-be alma maters one final time. The most wonderful time of the year is in full effect, and the Georgia Bulldogs have landed in Miami for what should be a very interesting matchup against Florida State, a couple of teams that feel like they have a lot to prove this weekend. Both of these historic programs have extremely impressive resumes this season, and with one game left to play. I think it's safe to say Hard Rock Stadium is going to be rocking when the Dogs and the Seminoles take the field on Saturday. Even though the Dogs and the Seminoles would much rather be in New Orleans or Pasadena in the college football playoff, they have no shortage of things to play for this weekend. Georgia is the first team in the college football playoff era to ever be ranked number one in the second to last rankings and then not make the Final Four. As for Florida State, they went undefeated 13 and 0, won the ACC without their starting quarterback, and they still didn't get in. This game is an opportunity for both of these teams to show the committee what they're missing out on. We've tried to make it the same sense of urgency, but there's times that you have to step back and look and, and take a deep breath and say, we're getting these guys better. We're working really hard. We're buying in. The, the, the leadership on this team has been absolutely incredible because what I hear from other coaches about these type games, it's been a nightmare for them. It has not been a nightmare for us. Every bowl season, the most frequently asked question is, who will be playing in these games? Between the players pondering their futures in the NFL or the ever-expanding transfer portal, the landscape just keeps on changing. For example, both former Georgia starting linebacker Jamon Dumas Johnson and backup quarterback Brock Vandegrift are transferring to Kentucky. On the flip side, Carson Beck announced that he'll be back behind center for the Dogs and Kirby Smart landed star running back Trevor Etienne from Florida. You know, the portal is a good thing. Let's don't make it a negative. If you've been in a program for three years and you're not playing and you don't feel like you're going to play, you don't feel like you're being developed and it doesn't look great, you might need to look somewhere else. And that's a okay thing. Okay, It's when your first year and you're doing that, it becomes a little bit, you know, more alarming. Um, why, why did you go there in the first place? You never really gave it a chance to grow. This will be the 12th time Georgia and Florida State will battle on the gridiron. The Dogs have won six of the previous 11 matchups, including a 13-point victory in the 2003 Sugar Bowl. Kickoff between Georgia and FSU is set for Saturday at 4 o'clock down in Miami, and we will continue to have live coverage throughout.